Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. And we're finally drying out over downtown Greenville. A view from our Peace Center sky cam. More rain though on the way, but the severe aspect, it's starting to come down. 74 degrees, rain cool. That'll drop your temperature by about 10 degrees once the rain shower moves on through. I've got live Super Doppler 4 HD on alert mode. We're watching for severe weather south of our area. For traveling to Columbia, there is a severe thunderstorm moving into Saluda right now. Spartanburg about to see some very heavy rainfall. So too, Boiling Springs, Cal pins and eventually Gaffney. This rainfall rated about an inch per hour and down toward the south. Lauren seeing some pretty steady rain. Waterloo as well. You folks in Newberry seeing some heavy rain. Greenwood, you've seen some showers. Another one moving through Abbeville back toward the west. We're watching this cell and all the severe storms down toward the south. This is where it's been and this one is a, an incredible hail maker moving just north of Edgefield about to move into southern Saluda County. So again, if your travels take you down 26, watch out for that one. That is a major hail maker as it moves toward the east toward the Columbia area. One more swath of rain. Notice two things here. There's not a lot of red in this, so the rain uh, rainfall rates are starting to come down. Also, not a lot of lightning. The severe aspect of it really down to our south. I think our severe thunderstorm watch, which is in place right now, will soon be dropped. You can see back toward the west, we've got more storms to watch out for in Alabama, but as they move into our rain cooled air, it's a bit more stable, so I'm not too concerned about that either, but more rain possible by 11 o'clock tonight. Severe thunderstorm watch until nine, but again, I think that will soon be dropped. Our aspect for severe weather starting to come down. Uh, Future Plus shows uh, the heavy rainfall starts to move out. There comes that second round by 10, 11 o'clock. It moves on through and then we'll dry things back out after midnight. It is 80 degrees in Lawrence, 76 in Greenwood. Most of our area rain cooled. It's just a matter of how much can we recover after uh, the rain like Tacoa is now back up to 78. Are we going to be unstable when the second round moves through? I don't think so. I think we'll just see some more heavy rain fall fall tonight at the worst, maybe a couple of claps of thunder. 65 the low in Greenville, 62 in Asheville. For tomorrow, look for some sunshine. It'll be hot again as temperatures warm back to near 80 degrees, a 20 to 30% chance of storms. The Asheville Hendersonville area warm well into the 70s. Looking at the forecasted highs tomorrow, 85 in Greenville, 79 in Asheville, 84 in Elberton with some humidity. Four day plus looks like this. 84 the high tomorrow, 83 on Wednesday. Our thunderstorm chances come down just a bit on Wednesday and Thursday. A front lies right over our area. It sags just to the south on Wednesday, Thursday, giving us a lower chance for those storms. It returns though Friday, Saturday and Sunday with better thunderstorm chances. 84 the high on Saturday, 83 on Sunday. It will not be a washout this weekend for those of you that have plans outdoors. I know weddings, a common theme going on this time of the year. Also graduation parties. Keep that in mind that though there will be some afternoon thunderstorms, they won't be wide spread 83 the high there on Sunday 84 by next Monday.